right, one of my favorite exercises for baseball pitchers is called the kneeling Zotman curl. Uh, bef before I show you how to do that, let me just explain that baseball pitchers are unique athletes. They, they need programs, strength programs, that go along with the, the needs on the baseball diamond. Yeah, as a pitcher, you're trying to gain velocity, you're trying to improve the location of your pitches, you're trying to be able to change up pitches, add different pitches, and so forth. And in doing so, you're constantly moving your wrist in different directions, okay? So, with, as a strength coach, we don't want you to just do traditional barbell curls and things that just keep you locked into one position. That's what tightens you up and puts you in a state where later you're overtrained and you get hurt. Okay. What we want from strength training is an exercise that's going to protect the joints, it's going to make you stronger, and it's going to allow you to, to perform on the baseball field um, better. Okay. So strength training should be an adjunct, it shouldn't uh, be hurting your performance. So when it comes to strength training for the arms, my favorite move, the, the Zotman curl, which was named after, or after uh, George Zotman, who was a strong man from the 1880s. Um, he developed this exercise and it kind of lay dormant for years and years and years, but um, I've resurrected it as a baseball performance coach because it's perfect for full development of the arm and allows for movement from supinated to neutral to pronation of the wrist, which is so important to any baseball pitcher. So, what my pitcher is going to do is he takes a kneeling position, um, usually on a pad or something to give his knees a break, and he's going to take two dumbbells. There's two ways to do his Zotman curl. The first way, he's going to curl them up with his hand supinated, traditional curl. Then he turns his wrists over and he lets them down in half um, speed. So it's up in one to two seconds, turn it over, and take about three seconds to lower the weight. This is going to allow full development of the, both heads of the bicep muscles. Um, as well as the brachioradialis muscle, which helps protect the elbow. Um, and let's face it, we don't need any more Tommy John surgeries. And then also, there's tricep involvement as you're letting the weight down slowly because they're working in opposition to your biceps. So it's a full arm movement for pitchers. Now, rest for a second. And then the second way to do this exercise and you can alternate from workout to workout if you're going to add these into your workouts, is you start with your knuckles forward, raise the weight up, then turn the weight over, and lower it down in half the time. There you go. So it's up in one to two, turn the weight over, down in three. Okay? This exercise will do more for you than as a baseball pitcher than any other arm exercise. Have a go at it and let me know how you do.